I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Ra's is... was a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up and... Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss him. I'm in. Time to find some owls. Remember to find a safe place to eavesdrop in the ballroom. If security sees you, you're toast. There's the ballroom. Looks like the party's in full swing. So long. The party will be over by the time they let us in. Are you always this impatient? Would they put this here? Again with your stupid theory? You saw the elevator. The hotel doesn't have a 13th floor. Don't mind me. The voice tonight. There's a trap! <laughs> 
Valfrey, I disabled the security system. Good job. The guards outside the control room were planted there by the court, so get the punch with impunity. <laughs> An opening. Perfect. Alfrey, I'm outside the ballroom. Heading in now. Well done. Did you sign the guest book? How could I not? I've got people to impress. Did you see some of the names in there? I did. Senators, judges, CEOs, even the mayor's here. Have you been to the hotel's east staircase? The one they sealed off? I hear it's haunted. That's what I heard too. Strange noises, almost cries, and scratches in the walls. Ugh. <laughs> Look at this. Even in death, Wayne tries to outdo us. Let him have his final hurrah. After tonight, it won't be a problem. You're right. His death ought to be a celebration. What do you think this is? Got a few matches. These people are going down. Is this all they could muster for the great Bruce Wayne? It's embarrassing. When I go, it'll be a spectacle. Fireworks, dancers, ice sculptures, the works. Did you hear about Langstrom's assistant? He deserved to be... let go. Just like Kirk, people forget their place. The voice remembers. Still haven't found the voice yet. I thought I told you that formal wear was required this evening. This is formal wear. Hard to believe Bruce Wayne is gone. I know. I was hoping to be a state this year. What do you mean you won't see me? I'm the goddamn mayor! I'm afraid his schedule won't permit it. You tell Colonel Kane that I won't be frozen out. My office demands respect. Of course it does, Mayor Sai. I'll relay your message. to present our host for the evening. That has to be the voice of the court. He's not even trying to be subtle. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity, a brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. I think I 
just found the voice of the court. Awesome. If you follow him, we might be able to figure out who he is. Sir, the labs are requesting more Dionysium to meet their production deadline. I'm aware. Arrangements are being made. Let them know that I expect the quota to be met. No excuses. Thank you, sir. the arrangements made. If it pleases the court. Excellent. I'll see you downstairs. into a secret elevator. I can't track him. Yep, I've lost the signal here too. Looks like he was between two floors when it went out. Batgirl, we just found a hidden 13th floor in the hotel blueprints. Maybe that's where the voice went. This should take me to the 13th floor. Belfry, I found one of those weird court doors. This must be it. Understood. Tread carefully. is hiding.
the coat of owls. So where did the voice go? Belfry, any clue where to go from here? Belfry? Nothing. There must be a jammer in here. Behind it. They actually pressed old court speeches on vinyl. Talk about analog. called for a meeting. What were they looking at? An operation was compromised. Found to be moonlighting for cockroaches. We eliminated him. Our allies... Crap. Court really did kill Langstrom. If I can get this recording to a judge, it could be enough for a conviction. There's still plenty to clean. Destroy everything. Make it so Langstrom never existed. We must send a message. You are only an owl of the court. So long as you remain loyal to the court. I recognize some of these names. These people are either dead or missing. Langstrom's in here too. This must be a hit list. architecture. The court must have been involved in the construction of these buildings. That's the courthouse. I'd recognize GCPD Central anywhere. It has something to do with those dates on the wall. City Hall. Cathedral. These all represent different kinds of power structures in the city. 
No wonder the court's interested in them. Of course. I should have known it was you. Save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. You're not the first masked villain to try to sell me that line. The only one hiding behind the mask is you, Miss Gordon. Jacob. I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. You're not protecting this city. You and your cult are using it as your personal playground. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends. The same enemies. It's madness. You're not serving us. Unlike you, I don't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. I know you killed Langstrom, then his assistant. Is that what you call protection? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce fought for something bigger than himself. You just want power. He never would have allowed this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. Don't compare us, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. Crap! Have to get back to the ballroom.
no, please, don't! Crap. Belfry, the League of Shadows is here. Understood. Paramedics have been called. It's a massacre! and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe, Isabella Haas, Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the League. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old Lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. <laughs> no one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. 
Court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. 